Hello friends, wanted to bring you along to this short lab today for Lisp. Not something I was very familiar with, uh, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. Uh, so the point here is we're trying to get the network on loopback one or loopback zero on side eight to get the network across so it can communicate with loopback two and vice versa. Right now, the only thing that is established is communication on the underlay with uh, 1010 and then the specific for the connection between the routers and the number of the router. So that network is good. We can ping 10, 10 and that is four, two. That's uh, site B. We can ping the actual, uh, the actual interface but not the loopback. So let's try the loopback now. All right. So the reason why it doesn't doesn't want to route is because there is no actual route to any anything specific in the underlay, and that's the point we're trying to mimic in the as if this was the internet, and the internet is not going to know about your private networks. Uh, so if we do a show route here. Same concept. There is no default route. There is no no nothing. Only the one one as a local connection. All right. So let's get uh, let's get going with the lab. It's very similar to when you look at a DNS. Uh, when we tell a website, I want you to go to Google.com, uh, rather than I want you to go to this IP address. Uh, so it's similar in in the aspect that you have to tell it uh, how to map it when someone is looking for that information, and that actually happens right here. So I want this network to show up as this network we give it our priority and wait just so that we can control the flow of traffic we do ipv4 ingress tunnel router and then we repeat that and we do a map resolver which is r3 it could be two different devices but in this case i'm using the same device okay we do ipv4 etr which is the egress tunnel router give it that again and in this case we're doing the map server it's gonna have the same IP. And in this case, we're gonna give it a password. Uh, the password will be set up on R3 later. A simple password. Okay, we are done with R1. Let's go to R2 to do the same thing. In case we're doing the, net, the entire network, the entire slash 24 for this. And I want it to show up as this network or as this IP. We give it priority and wait. So I'm telling it to become an ingress and also an egress tunnel router. Ingress tunnel router. Map resolver, same IP. Now I gotta tell it to be ingress tunnel router. And we do the server this time. Give it a password. Okay. And uh, that's it when it comes to the two sites. We do the server now. I want you to be a Lisp map server. And I also want you to be a map resolver for site A. We give it an EIP prefix, which is the network that we're trying to get pushed forward. And this is where we set up the authentication. Do the same thing for site B with the correct network. And it looks like we have everything set up. Okay, so site B is not registered. Let's see what is missing on site B. missing the authentication. Very good. There we go. And after two fail pings, I'm sure that's when it was uh, doing a query for, hey, where, how can I get to 222? Then it found its way there. So we'll do it again. No problem. Let's do a route, a trace route. So it went to R4 and now to site B. Excellent. Uh, let's do it the other way around. Make sure we can ping it back this way. Perfect. All right. Well, that was it for this short lap. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did.